Good morning, church. It's Brandon True. Hey, we are adding a new piece to our Sunday morning online services called Kids Moment. And it's where we take just a moment to address the kids that may be watching with us from home. So welcome to all you kids out there on the internet who are watching with us this morning. You're in for a special treat. So in Lighthouse Kids Ministry, one of the elements that we do in each of our services is what we call the Word of the Week. So today I wanted to share with you a Word of the Week. And our word for this week is believe. Who knows what the word believe means? Well, believe is actually a really important word for us Christians. In fact, the Bible tells us in John chapter 20, verse 31, that the reason the Gospels were written is so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. That's pretty amazing. So what does the word believe mean? Well, believe means to accept something as true, genuine, or real. It's to consider that something to be true or honest. So that means if I were to say a phrase like, the grass is green, you can believe me because you've, you've seen grass and you know that grass is green. So you can believe that the information that I'm giving you is genuine, true, and real. And even if you didn't believe me, you could go outside and you could look for yourself and you could see that the grass is green. Now, maybe it's not just a phrase. You could also take something you could see, something you could see like this banana. You can accept that this banana is genuine, actual, real banana, not something fake or made up, something that Miss Ernie gave me to try to trick me, but it's an actual, real banana. So when you believe something, it's going to move you to action. Your belief is expressed in what you do with the information that you consider to be genuine, real, true, or honest. So to help us understand this a little bit better, I brought in a chair with me earlier. You guys saw as I walked in with that chair. And this chair is going to help us to understand the word believe. Now, if I believe that this chair can hold up my weight, I'm going to sit in it just like I am right now. So, Mr. Chair, can, can I trust you? Can I sit in you? Why, yes, Mr. Brandon. I do believe that you can trust me. You can sit in me whenever you'd like. And so there you go. I, I believe that the chair is going to hold my weight. And so because I believe it, it's going to move me to action to where I actually put my weight into the chair and I trust that it's going to hold me up. And so if I didn't trust it, there's no way that I would put my weight into there. And so that belief that I have that the chair is trustworthy, that the chair is sturdy, is going to mean that my actions show up in what I believe. So today, as you listen to Mr. Mike's message, I want to encourage you to listen for all the times that Mr. Mike talks about the word believe. If you want, you can even use these teaching notes. Now, this teaching note is a printout that you can find on the Calvary Cork Life Facebook page. And so kids, if you want to get one of these printed off, ask mom or dad for help and they can help you out there. Now, if you don't have one of these or you don't have time to go print it off, that's totally okay. You can actually just use like a normal sheet of paper and that doesn't hurt anything. But today, I want to challenge you guys to count the number of times that Mr. Mike says the word believe right here. So every time that Mr. Mike says that, I want you to count that, and then you can tell me later on, maybe during the Lighthouse Beacon or something, how many times Mr. Mike had said the word believe. So this has been another kids moment, and I want you to enjoy the rest of our service. Now, I need to check and make sure that this is actually a real banana and not something that Miss Ernie is trying to trick me with. And so it peels like a banana, it smells like a banana, it tastes like a banana. I think this is a real banana. I believe that this is a banana. And so, yeah, there you go. Oh, so sorry. Thanks a bunch. Enjoy the service, and we'll see you next week.